Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Francesco and what I try and do in these videos is I try and simplify productivity tools, tips and techniques to help you effectively choose your tools moving forward. So what I want to do in this session is go over something that was announced the other day. And what it is, it's the brand new update to Asana. And I just want to go over some of the core features they've updated. But also, I just wanted to thank everyone for dropping me a message on Twitter about reviewing this one. Because I know, obviously, this one's just outside my parameters in the kind of project management area. But I guess people still want to see those sort of things. So I really appreciate the interaction. So let's get stuck into a mini review of what my first thoughts of the new Asana are. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a new project and uh, I'm just going to demo this one and create a new project inside a new Asana. So here it kind of gives you the same sort of experiences previously, but I feel it's kind of like a, like a, uh, mm. I feel the new Asana's experience is a lot more kind of, uh, looks more like paper. Uh, it looks more interactive. It looks more kind of conversational. Uh, it, it just looks like a canvas for people to communicate on, which is really, really great fun. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a task to this uh, demonstration. And as you can see, it's got the same sort of structure in terms of um, tools on this side and also the same sort of structure in terms of task lists on this side as the previous Asana. What I can do is uh, I'll type in feed the cat as a, a demonstration task. And what it does is it will add that as a task. What I really liked and what I played around with earlier is the way that the marking complete makes you feel, you know, the experience of that. So if I mark that complete, uh, it kind of is a lot more playful than previous one. Um, I mean, I've got the unicorns demo on, so it should shoot up with unicorns. Yep, there we go. Um, so that's a really cool experience, but that was on the previous one. They've really updated this kind of feel for when you mark something complete so that you get that kind of reward-based uh, learning and productivity. So as you can see, you can still do the whole kind of uh, adding a description, commenting, uh, unfollowing the task, adding a due date, assigning it to people, hearting it, you know, adding sub-projects, and even adding attachments and lots of other information like printing, merging, things like that. The next thing you can do, obviously, when you're in a project is add other people to a conversation. And I think they've made the conversations look a lot more kind of appealing. So let's just start a conversation here. Uh, so let's just do a demo. I really like the way they've used the font in all of this. And this kind of feels a bit more social networky, a little more. It doesn't feel more slacky. It feels more kind of Facebook at work experience. But it does look a lot better from the previous one. They've allowed you to keep the calendar and the calendar looks great still. Uh, progress. Uh, I really like this part of the app uh, and what it's really useful for is actually seeing, uh, you know, what stage you are in a project. So, you know, green light means yes, okay, we're ready, we're going. Um, and uh, orange, you know, and you can continually update this, which is nice. So you can let the team know that, you know, things need to be uh, progressive in the status. Again, here you can see all of your progress with task complete. Uh, obviously, this doesn't tell you necessarily that, you know, it's being productive or, you know, you're getting everything done. But it, what it will tell you is whether you have any slack days or any uh, low days uh, in your period of time when you're using this project. Next thing you can do is visualize what files are available in this project, which is nice. Um, and I really like, I mean, simple stuff like this. The loading bar is using the three new dots of Asana, uh, what they've used in their one. So yeah, you can find all the files right there. Going over to my inbox is a really, really cool experience too. You get all of your activity. You can see all of the stuff you're following. You can see all of the archive stuff as well as it comes through. Uh, you can see all of your tasks that are specific to you uh, and it breaks it down into the stuff, uh, different areas as well, which is great. So overall, I mean, that's a basic, just an overview quickly of what the core functions are of Asana, the new Asana. Overall, I think they've done a stellar job. Um, I'm looking actually to see if whether this is something our team could be using in the future, uh, yet to have that conversation. But anyway, I think this is something that has really progressed. I don't think I would use it for personal stuff just yet, as I'm heavily into Trello at the moment and focusing on that. But it's something that is definitely a competitor. Anyway, guys, I hope that gave you a little bit of insight towards the new Asana. And I really hope you're looking forward to 
getting it tested and seeing what you think and using it with your teams too, because then that brings in all the kind of colorfulness of everyone around you. Anyway, guys, have a great week. Keep productive and make sure to let me know on Twitter uh, what you think of the new Asana at Francesco D underscore A-L-E-S. And I'll be sure to follow you back. Thank you very much. And I'll see you soon.